For the past few years, we've been seeing characters pop up in the toy lines from across every corner of the Transformers franchise. And I'm first in line to cheer this trend on, into whatever may come next after Legacy. Seeing a character like Beast Wars Silverbolt get a new toy in particular is pretty cool, but also makes me hope that the Transmetal designs aren't far behind, as they are some of my favorites from the era. Why am I here again? To tell the viewers about channel memberships. What about them? It's as little as a dollar a month to support the channel. Oh yeah, sounds great. So can you tell them that, please? No. Why not? Because you just did. Legacy United Silverbolt is a pretty great figure. He does everything you would expect from a toy based on the dorky, chivalrous bird dog. There are a few minor issues, like how his beast mode tail doesn't quite cover his butt, or how some of his feathers are gorgeously painted, while others are left completely untouched. But, as I said, these are minor complaints that don't detract from the overall fun of the figure. His beast mode is also sporting some decent articulation, able to pose in most of the ways I would want. It would have been nice if the wolf head could swivel, but I love the sculpting on it. I will never understand this trend, though, of putting pegs on the beast belly to lock the legs in place as part of the official transformation. I've seen it on several figures now, and it just gets in the way. Beast modes already usually don't have much in the way of dynamic posing, so why make it worse? It is an easy enough annoyance to rid myself of, but I'm not one to mutilate my toys. Not anymore, anyway. Maximizing Silverbolt is perfectly satisfying. Everything flips and twists in all the right ways, so that all his beast parts end up where they should in order to nail that robot mode we all remember. Silverbolt's robot mode is pretty great. The details are beautiful, from that superhero-like face mask to the gigantic red belly button that I still don't know the purpose of and gold-accented crotch flap. They even molded in fake hinges on his shoulders to call back to how the original toy transformed. It's clear... This was a work of love by the designers. In this mode, Silverbolt can wield his signature feather swords, swinging them around to slash his enemies, or dust his room for a date night with Black Arachnia. I do find myself wishing that the wings could have rotated forward over his shoulders to facilitate how he used to fire the missiles on the show, but I get that not every wish can come true on these figures. If I seem more critical than usual, Silverbolt, it's because I owned the toy as a kid, and it was pretty awesome. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty damn accurate for the time. So, when they decided to include Silverbolt in Legacy, I was generally excited, and I do believe that this is a pretty awesome figure. It just doesn't quite meet the level of expectation I have for improving on the original. When you compare a G1 toy to their Legacy counterpart, the design team really has a low bar for improvement. Don't at me. But Beast Wars, as a toy line, was already doing pretty well, so it would take a lot more to impress, I feel. So, I want to make it clear. I like this figure. It's clearly made with love for the character, and I do understand some of the compromises that have been made. I just think, for a character as cool as Silverbolt, they could have gone even further with this release. Did you like that video? Please subscribe! What are you doing? You're too polite! I just thought, subscribe or face my fury! Scourge, you're an Autobot. Oh, bite me.